If you're curious about virtual photo shoots and want to understand the pros and cons of doing virtual photo shoots so you can make an informed decision about whether to book one for yourself, or if you're a photographer who's deciding whether to offer virtual photo shoots to clients, then buckle up because in this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know about virtual photo shoots, the pros, cons, and a little extra on the side. And make sure you watch all the way to the end for bloopers and behind the scenes. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Abigail. I'm an over 40 visual content creator and I help other midlife women with their digital revamps and personal reinventions. On this channel, we explore self-identity, expanding our phone-based visual content skills and expressing our creativity so we can be confident online and create individualized, meaningful content. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing some extra insights you need before booking a virtual photo shoot with a professional photographer. So make sure you're watched all the way through. If you've clicked on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're the kind of person, probably a solopreneur, who isn't afraid of trying something new. You're curious, creative, you're an outside the box thinker, and you're willing to challenge the traditional approaches to doing things. You're probably excited about the change changes and digital advancements that have happened since the 2020 shakeup. And if so, I'm excited to have you here because I'm totally on board with ongoing learning, revamps and reinventions. Either that or you're a solopreneur who's been hiding out at home since the start of the epic mishap that was 2020. You've been pivoting your business like hell to get it online ready. And now you've realized that your once fresh professional profile photo is no longer a true reflection of your Zoom video face and it needs an update. But you're not quite ready to step outside your door to join a complete stranger in a small room while they shove a huge lens in your face. You've probably heard about people doing virtual photo shoots, remote photo shoots, lockdown photo shoots, but you don't understand the logistics and technicalities of how it works. And you're trying to decide whether this is something for you, whether you're someone who's considering a socially distanced photo shoot or you're a portrait photographer who's needing to evolve and pivot their photography offerings. You just want the straightforward facts, a clear explanation of what to expect and you want to see the magic of technology making this possible. By the end of this video, I want you to have all the information you need to make an informed decision about whether a virtual photo shoot is right for you or not. You might have already done some Googling or seen a few behind the scenes videos on YouTube about virtual photo shoots. And while it's useful to see a few examples of these types of photo shoots and get a sense of how it works, you still don't have all the information you need. You don't know what results you can expect and whether this is a good option for you. You've probably also noticed that there are various ways to do a virtual photo shoot with varying degrees of success and you're wanting to know which option will give the best results. I know, having been a professional photographer since 2007, that if you're already camera shy or if you're slightly on the introverted side, then virtual photo shoots are going to appeal to you. But I also know that if the results aren't great or if your expectations aren't managed correctly, then you could land up damaging your self-confidence even more. And this is true for newbie virtual photographers too. I know you want to deliver great results for your clients, and if you don't know what to expect, you could end up devaluing your self-worth as a photographer. Ultimately, if you're a solopreneur who's had to pivot their business into the online space, and you're doing more digital meetups than real-life meetups, you need to work even harder to build the trust of your prospective clients. And your current profile picture is either telling a lie or telling the truth. And I know you know which builds trust from the start. It's the equivalent of having a 20 year old picture on your dating profile. It's an inaccurate representation and subconsciously your clients will smell a rat. When the reality of 2020 sank in and we were all forced to stay home, I saw all my booked shoots being cancelled or severely postponed. Eventually, the usual flow of photo shoot bookings dried up completely. At the time, I wasn't flipping out that much because we were actually packing up our apartment and moving out to the countryside to escape the city. So I had lots on my mind and I was grateful for the extra time available. But eventually, after a few weeks, the realization dawned that if I didn't do something radically different, I would have no clients and no income. I was racking my brain to figure out how to do an online photo shoot and whether it was even possible or even feasible so that I could contact my existing clients and tell them that I'd made a plan for them. At that time, there were very few people doing this and there wasn't much information out there. So it took me several months to figure out the technicalities to eventually start telling my community that this was now a possibility. Once I'd figured out which apps to use and how I needed to prep myself and my client for the virtual shoot, I did a practice run with my friend Tracy Gold who lives in New York. You can watch the behind the scenes video here. 
this gave me the opportunity to try it out, see what worked, what didn't work, how I would manage the limitations, and what quality of images I could create from the shoot. It was a great practice round, and since then, I've gone on to do shoots with women all over the world. So now that enough time has passed for us all to gather ourselves and start to rebuild our strengths since the start of the 2020 calamity, it's time to update that outdated profile photo and decide whether a virtual photo shoot is right for you. So here's a list of pros and cons of virtual photo shoots. Number one, convenience. You get to stay at home for these virtual photo shoots in your own private, comfortable space, a space that you're familiar with. You also have access to all of your wardrobe items, so if something's not working with your outfit, you can simply open up your cupboard door and choose a different outfit. No more wishing you had packed something that you didn't. And it goes without saying that you'll be far more comfortable and confident for the photo shoot being in a space that is familiar to you. Pro number two is that it is quicker. You don't have to get into a car and deal with traffic. There is no travel time. Also, the shoot itself is a whole lot quicker. Because of the nature of it being online and being digital, there tends to be less of the faffing around and just getting straight to the point. All in all, you save a lot more time doing a virtual photo shoot. Pro number three is that it is cheaper. Related to the previous point is that it is a much shorter photo shoot. So generally, that's a cost saving for you. And because the professional photographer isn't having to hire a studio, hire a makeup artist, because they're not using their professional gear, generally the price for a virtual photo shoot is going to be a lot cheaper than if you were booking a professional shoot in a studio. Pro number four, this is a great option for international teams. If your business has team members all over the world, then this is a fantastic option to ensure that there is consistency in all of your team photos by having one photographer doing all the team photos in all the different locations. I've done loads of corporate teams, members all over the world because I have a frame of reference to ensure there's consistency among the team photos. It's also a lot more convenient to organize teams across the world when all they have to do is log on to their computers as opposed to getting to a specific location. Pro number five is for the introverts. If you're generally more comfortable on your own without a crowd of people around you, then you're absolutely going to love having a virtual photo shoot because it will just be you and the photographer looking at you through the phone. No big crowds of people in a studio, no people in and out, lots of conversations happening. It's just you and the person at the end of the phone. Far less taxing for us introverts. Pro number six is that this is a socially distanced way of doing photo shoots. Keeping our distance by not being in each other's personal space and not passing on anything that we don't want to be passing on. Enough of that speaks for itself. Pro number seven, thanks to 2020, everybody is far more comfortable and accepting of doing things online. While this might have been completely outlandish two years ago, everybody's just used to doing everything online these days. So it's far more accepted, people are far more open to it. Pro number eight, the way that I do these virtual photo shoots ensures that all of the image from the photo shoot are saved to the model's phone. You as the client, you get all of the photos from the photo shoot. Normally, when I do a professional shoot in the studio, I have all the images. I go through them and select them and then show my clients the selection I've made. However, this way around, because of the nature of the technology, the model gets every single photo from the shoot. Pro number nine. When you do this with a professional photographer, you have them there with you on the other side of your phone, guiding you through the whole process. But we'll talk more about this later. And finally, pro number 10, virtual photo shoots make it easy to update your headshots and your profile pictures. Literally all of the logistical nightmares and headaches and the expense and the time that goes into organizing a professional photo shoot are out the window. So there is no longer any excuse to have an old, outdated, irrelevant headshot. It's easy to update it. And in fact, you could be updating your profile picture every three months. You can ensure that your profiles are up to date, current and interesting. And now for the cons of virtual photo shoots. Now bear in mind, some of these are duplicates of the pros because double-sided coin seems double other side of the same coin. Con number one, 
you have to stay at home for a virtual photo shoot or you could go to a different location. I've done virtual photo shoots where my clients have gone down to the beach. But in general, you're going to be doing this from home, which means if your home isn't terribly tidy or if you've got family, kids running around, dogs making a noise, if the lighting isn't great, then that might prove a bit of a challenge for you. Con number two, being limited by the specs of the model's phone. The way that I do virtual photo shoots means that the quality of the images is limited to the camera phone that my client is using. So if you don't have the highest specs or a great camera on your phone or you've got a chip on your lens, that's going to impact the resulting images. Con number three, lens distortion. Because of the nature of camera phones, they tend to be quite wide lenses and that means that generally there's a lot of lens distortion. Now to the layperson, if you're not a photographer, you probably don't notice this, but as professional photographers with our trained eye, we can see how distorted the images are. This can be corrected in post-production and I certainly do that in my virtual photo shoots, but it is something that you need to be aware of. Con number four, the file type. Normally when I do a professional shoot in the studio with my professional gear, I shoot everything in raw format. That is one of the highest spec file formats, ensuring that I can edit it and bring back the colors, bring back the exposure if I need to. However, with phone cameras, they often only shoot in JPEGs. Generally, it's going to be a lower quality than a raw file format. So just something to bear in mind. Con number five, for a virtual photo shoot, you are going to be at the mercy of the quality of the internet connection and any technical glitches that might decide to happen on the day. And it has happened. Lost connection between my phone and my client's phone. It happens, you have any power outages, then your internet is generally going to go down. So rather than being able to just carry on shooting in a studio with natural light, the virtual photo shoot is at the mercy of internet connection and technical glitches. Don't stress out if it happens. Con number six, some might find, especially our extroverts, might find that there's a lack of personal touch in the virtual photo shoot. A lot of my clients are extroverts and they just love all the, the fuss and made up in the makeup chair and having people swooning around them. That's part of the whole experience of having a, a photo shoot. With a virtual photo shoot, you're just not going to get that same kind of personal touch. Point number seven, the model has to move the camera herself or have somebody with her who will move the camera for her. So whereas normally in a pro professional photo shoot, I would be moving around and looking for the best angles and coming in and coming out and up and down and all around, the model has to be moving the camera under the professional photographer's suggestion, under their guidance. So I tell my clients, move the camera closer to you, move the camera away, can you swivel the camera that way? So there's a lot more to be done on the client side, on the model side when it comes to a virtual photo shoot. It does help and it is a lot easier if you have somebody with you. So if you can rope in a family member or a friend to be my camera assistant, then that would be first place. But otherwise you are going to need a tripod, a bracket to put your phone on, and you're gonna to have to be able to follow instructions for moving the camera back and forth. Con number eight, which was also a pro, is that the images are saved to the model's phone. It's great that the model gets all of the photos from the shoot, but that includes all the blinks and the blurs and the weird expressions and the absolute no-no images as well. As the model, you need to be aware that this is going to be happening and you need to be able to delete, delete, delete all of the ones that just don't work for you. Don't ruminate on them, don't beat yourself up. That's what happens in a professional photo shoot and normally you don't even, you're not even aware of that because I delete them before you even know that they exist. So unfortunately you are going to see all the dud images. Con number nine is that the virtual photo shoot is not really suitable for a full-blown personal brand photo shoot. It's much more geared towards your straightforward headshots, profile headshots, maybe one or two variations from the theme but in general you're not going to be able to tell a whole story of a brand when you're doing a virtual photo shoot unless you are committed to an extensive amount of time extensive moving the camera here there and everywhere 
Con number 10 is that there are different approaches to virtual photo shoots and the quality of the images will depend on the approach that the photographer chooses to use. I'll explain more about those different approaches later in this video. No, I won't, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> so approach number one is doing a webcam and screenshots. And so this is where the photographer and the model jumps onto a webcam session, whether that is a Zoom, FaceTime, Google Meet, whatever your webcam session of choice is and then the photographer takes screenshots of the model on the laptop screen. Approach number two is webcam and professional camera. So again, set up, you two connect on some kind of Zoom call, FaceTime call, whatever it is. Then the professional photographer gets their professional camera and takes photos of the laptop screens. And then there is approach number three where the photographer connects their phone to the model's phone and is able to then click the shutter button on the model's phone from their phone. Now, of the three options, I use the latter. That is guaranteed to be the best quality images you can expect from a virtual photo shoot. I did consider the first two options when I was starting out, but I just found that there was too many artifacts on the images when doing screenshots or taking photos of the screen. Especially if your internet connection is not 100%, it's gonna be a pixelated picture anyway. My approach where my phone connects to your phone means that it is as if I am in the room with you clicking your shutter on your phone. So there is no internet connection interference at all. While the internet connection does hamper how much detail I can see on my side, the resulting image is still as if it comes like I'm in the room with you taking the photo because it is literally taking the photo on your phone. Before I go on and share the last bit of juicy insight that you need to be aware of when it comes to booking a virtual photo shoot, I want to hear from you. Have you been considering booking a virtual photo shoot? If so, what kind of photos would you want from a shoot like this? Has this video shed some light on the questions you had about virtual photo shoots? If you're a photographer, are you considering offering virtual photo shoots to your clients? Let me know if you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video. I've had some questions from people asking why they would pay a professional photographer to do a virtual shoot if they can just take their own photos on their phone. Here's why. Firstly, pre-shoot preparation. This is what we do professionally and we know exactly what steps need to be taken in order to be prepared for any kind of shoot, whether it's in person or online. Creating images that reflect your brand, that communicate your core message and that tell a visual story is imperative to creating visual content that connects online. This is what we do, it's our job. Secondly, you want to take advantage of our trained eye. A person who's not a professional photographer, they'll just look at a space and they won't see the nitty gritty details that a trained professional photographer's eye will see. We're constantly looking at the lighting, distractions in the background, framing of the shot. These are things we're always considering even while we're holding conversations with our clients. We multitask like mofos. Thirdly, encouragement and holding space. It's our job as a professional photographer to help our clients feel comfortable and at ease during the photo shoot because we know how important that is to ensure that we get the best possible photos of them. So we help you relax, center yourself, and help you take your guards down so that your true essence comes through in your photos. And finally, posing. As professional photographers, we're essentially teaching you the choreography for a dance. And you know that if you don't know the dance moves, you're not gonna dance. As professionals, we know those poses and we're gonna guide you into those poses so that you get those shots that look effortless, that look professional, and yet, as you will find out, has taken thorough intention and guidance to get it to look as seamless as it does. If you're interested in experiencing a virtual photo shoot with me, let's hop on a 30 minute video call to chat through the specifics and schedule a session. You'll find the link in the description below. And again, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it's virtual. With this insight, you can now make an informed decision about booking a virtual photo shoot for you or your team. Or if you're a photographer, you can make the decision whether to add this to your service offering. Hopefully this video has helped you realize that it's pretty much like prepping for a long road trip. If you know ahead of time you're going to be on a road in the middle of nowhere, you'll know to pack a lunch so you don't go hungry, and you'll know to pack your camera so you can get some epic photographs. Remember, if you want to see the behind the scenes of an actual virtual photo shoot, then watch this video here, and P.S. In that video, I do say that I can only do iPhone to iPhone virtual photo shoots, but I've since figured out how to easily connect an iPhone to an Android phone. So no discrimination here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.
You might have already done some googling or seen a few behind the scenes videos on YouTube about virtual photo shoots. And while this is no, you might have already done some googling or seen a few behind the scenes videos on YouTube about You might have already done some googling or seen a few behind the scenes videos about virtual You might have already seen some googling <laughs> But you're not quite ready to step out your... You've probably heard about people doing virtual shoots. Oh, mother... With this, in, with this insight, you can make it. Whether you're, whether you're someone who's considering a socially distanced photo shoot or your portrait. And because of the nature of the... It's also a lot more convenient to organize. It's also a lot more... Com, it's also a lot... It's also a lot more convenient to organize a team. No. Pro number seven. Con number nine is that the virtual photo shoot is. Is. Mm, photo shoot is not really. And the degree. Of, So with <laughs> before I go on and share the last bit of juicy insight, you need to be able to wear. <laughs> before I go, before I go on and share the last bit of juicy insight that you need. To... Too high. Too high. <laughs> 